We are going to America in the next uh, couple, of, couple of weeks. And we are doing well in Nigeria. So everything we do is to the glory of God. Yeah. It's not our dream, but we give all glory to God. What do you wish your pet baby? Oh, I wish her the best of everything in life. The best. The best? Yes, of everything in life. That's all you can say. Yes, you in fact, it all. I wish all my children, because I love best, the, the best the of everything best in life. The best of everything yes. in life. Thank you very much, Mr. Yeah. and Mrs. Sabea Odeajo. Parrot Show congratulates Olami Posi on her first birthday and wishes the entire Odeajo family the best of luck. Hello and welcome to Perot Show at Chivas Conan. My name is Peter Oginan and I'm here with a very special person. Many people refer to him as the media guru of Nigeria. Everyone knows him, but we've always seen him on TV. But now he's here in Ireland. He is Chief Dr. Raymond Dokwesi, the chairman of the DAD Communication. Hi, Chief. You are welcome to Perot Show and welcome to Ireland. Thank you very much. But for the benefit of our viewers, who actually is Raymond Dokwesi? Born on the 25th of October 1951 at Ibado. I went, I had my early primary school at uh, Ebenezer African Church School in Kutedo, Ibado. And thereafter proceeded to do La College, Ibado where we are brought up to be the best in whatever we do. And uh, proceeded from the Ula College, Badon, to Immaculate Conception College, Benin City. Had a little bit of stint at uh, what is now University of uh, Benin. Uh, it was then Midwest Institute of Technology, MIT. And uh, from there, I got uh, the Nigerian Post Authority Scholarship to go to University of Southampton. From the University of Southampton, I was later directed to proceed to uh, Poland for my first degree, master's and doctorate. And I finished there uh, at the uh, University of uh, Gdańsk with a PhD uh, in marine engineering uh, economics. And uh, came back to Nigeria, worked very briefly uh, at the Nigerian Post Authority before I was seconded to the Federal Ministry of Transport was at the Federal Ministry of Transport until I proceeded to uh, what was then Gongula State to coordinate the campaigns for Alaji Bamangatuku. Took office there as Chief of Staff until uh, we, were, we, had the, we were kicked out by the military in the coup. And we left, uh, by the time we left there, I had no other choice but to what I'd been trained all my life to do. Uh, that is in shipping. So together with Chief MK Wabiola, uh, the late General Yaradua, uh, Alaji Bamangatuku, we set up Africa Ocean Lines. And after setting up Africa Ocean Lines, operated the company, I think that was up till 1988-89, when we decided to set up, uh, uh, there was the clash uh, of the Titans as it were then, that is among the shareholders of Africa Ocean Lines over the presidency of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Chief M.K. Wabiola wanted to be president. General Yaradua wanted to be president. Uh, and we had that uh, political crisis. And from there onwards, we moved on. Uh, I set up a uh, Baldock shipping lines uh, that was involved in bulk carriage of uh, consignments and so on. And uh, we left from there uh, until 1993-94 when government deregulated broadcasting and had the a great privilege of operating the first private radio station in the Federal Republic of Nigeria, uh, Ray Power, and then went ahead to develop television. And today we have uh, uh, both uh, terrestrial TV on a nationwide uh, basis, as well as uh, the DASAT, which is the uh, platform, uh, like we have the Biscay B here, we have about 53 channels running on that today. We have started streaming also television over internet protocol across the whole world. So, I think by and large, uh, we've tried to consolidate and build on what uh, technology has been able to provide in broadcasting. That briefly, I would say, is the story of Raymond Dokwesi. Okay, thank you very much, sir. 
I would say that uh, you are my role model looking through your biography. But before I come to that, I just want to say congratulations over the birth of your um, Princess Catherine. I spoke to a number of your friends and they all said that she's a special child. Why do they say that? Well, by the grace of God, uh, the child came in at a time that was uh, very remarkable in my life. Uh, the child came up after a long wait for uh, the mother and uh, there's no doubt whatsoever that uh, the mother has not only been a wife to me, she's been one of my very, very best friends. We share uh, quite a lot of closeness with her and uh, uh, what would life be without the blessing of something to concretize and place on permanent platform the relationship and that's what Kitty represents. Okay, well, once again congratulations to you sir. I looked through your biography and I said no, this is somebody I will leave to admire. Could you tell us briefly the story again about the your mom selling a car to see you through school? Well, essentially, let me say that my prayer is that... Because everybody believed that uh, Chief Raymond Douglas is a millionaire and that's where it ends. They don't know that he has gone through the, you know, how he's trying to survive. My prayer actually is that not only should you be like me, that you should surpass whatever my achievements in life, mm -hmm. that life be more prosperous, be much more uh, rewarding to you mm -hmm. in all your endeavors. Uh, but simply, the story is very simple. Uh, my mother uh, is from, I come from a very poor background. Uh, some people say that it is not, uh, it should not be said that way, but uh, I believe that the level of the poverty index in the country clearly shows that there is no rich person uh, in the country. We are all very poor and uh, I came from a very poor background where my mother naturally, at Kote Ibado, was selling Dudu Anakara in front of Central Hotel in Ibado. And by the time she moved to Benin, she was selling rice in the, in the market, uh, raw rice. And then uh, when there was a little bit of improvement, she had to sell uh, in the Ministry of Agriculture cooked rice. And that's all. She was a stark illiterate. She was not educated. And my father uh, also, uh, at his very best, was a chief clerk. Uh, in those days, we thought that uh, being a chief clerk, that was quite a big position and so on, until I entered the service myself and discovered that the chief clerk is only the head of the clerks and is just at the rock bottom. Within those levels, I think one will be very grateful to God for the courage that they put in and the efforts they made to really ensure that one had education at whatever level it was. But the major lesson from that is the fact that it is possible for you to achieve whatever you set your mind on. That the situation and environment was conducive at that time. That it was not important whose child you were, but that if you want, if you read properly, if you study properly, you will get somewhere. Those are the values we are saying we want to get back to in Nigeria. That we have lost along the way. That today it is only the children of the rich men that are appointed or are given opportunities and so on. But we, the children of the ordinary people, can why no those, can no longer come to that? And we have to bring back the country to that level. That the child, whether it is the child of a rich man or the child of the poor man, as long as it's a brilliant child, that we can support him with scholarship, we can support him, with, uh, we can give him all the necessary assistance to still make them successful in life. But do you see, from the way things are going in Nigeria, do you see any sign that we are coming back to that time? We derailed. I, in, we derailed in a number of ways, including this. And I do think that uh, very uh, uh, gradually, we have to go back to where we missed the way. And unless we do that, we cannot, we cannot be a strong nation. Mm. These values must be returned. There must be equity, there must be justice, there must be fairness in the treatment of every citizen of that country. Well, we are almost there. We are, we are prepared. We have acquired the most sophisticated equipment in any part of the world uh, to be able to produce the games. As it's, uh, it's, it's been envisaged that nothing less than 
half a billion people across the world will watch those games. Uh, we have had uh, acquired high definition trucks, high definition cameras, production uh, facilities, and so on. Topmost of uh, world class equipment that can be used for that. And by the grace of God, when the game starts on the 24th of October this year, we should be up and running. And we'll, we hope that we shall make Nigeria very proud. At the present moment, uh, we run a national network of radio stations across the whole Federal Republic of Nigeria. We have about 28 radio stations across the country. We have television stations, there are about 24, 25 stations now operational across the country. We have, that is AIT, uh, this thing. We have also AIT uh, transmitting to the UK, that's a different stream, AIT UK. There's another stream going to the US. There's another stream going to the United States of America, uh, going to the Far East. There is another stream that is meant for Africa and a different stream that is meant for Nigeria. There is a, we have also on top of that, on DASAT, we have about 53 channels that are running, including the AIT Movie Star, AIT News, the AIT, so there are about uh, 53 different other channels that mm -hmm. we run. And then we also stream the signals over internet protocol now, IPTV, so you can have your laptop anywhere you are and then access uh, AIT as it were. Okay. Finally, um, Hi Chief, I believe that uh, if not all that you've achieved, almost all, but do you think after all that you have achieved, there's, there's still that challenge that still needs to be conquered? That's burning desire that this I have not been able to do and I want to do it. Life is a continuum and uh, you face, there are new challenges, there are new developments on daily basis and as those developments come in it is it is it is incumbent on everybody to endeavor to attain those levels as they unfold i'm not able to tell you today what is going to happen by this evening because i'm not god but as far as technology is concerned we can more or less see the trend we are already moving towards blu-ray our studios are in uh, in uh, nigeria wired in blu-ray already in preparation of the acceptance of Blu-ray uh, technology now that five ten years. Don't forget Nigeria will be celebrating 50 years of television in Africa in Nigeria. Shifo Bafemi Awolo started it way back in 1959 so it will be 50 years but we want to make sure in that competitions we are at least able to meet with the world standards. So by October when you come in you'll be able to see the transmissions completely in blurry and high definition. So there's a big challenge to overcome. By the grace of God. Okay. I end with asking you, sir, your happiest moment in life. I've had very many happy moments on that one. One of my happiest moments is what you witnessed in the last few days, the bundle mm -hmm. of joy that was gave to me. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Well, viewers, that has been the High Chief, Chief Raymond Dokbesi, the Chairman of the DA Communication himself. On that note, we've come to the end of Peril Show Achievers Corner. Please join us next week when we bring you another exciting edition of Peril Show. Mm -hmm.